What's up guys, Iggy here with Faltech. Today we're doing an HK P2000 with TLR7. Uh, it's going Battleship Gray, simple IWB, no bells and whistles, uh, although it is gonna have a concealment cloth, no big deal. We have our uh, ovens are on. I actually have something in the press right now. And when that comes out, I'll go ahead and finish that uh, off camera. But for now, I have already added our suppressor height sights and I have taped off the slide. So let's finish blocking the TLR7 and get it in the press. And like I said, it is already uh, prepped for, for the most part. Uh, there's still a couple things that we're going to have to prep. Uh, if you, obviously you didn't notice it, but uh, there's a slide release that goes from there all the way over. And then the same thing on this side, there's a slide release that really, this is flat here and then the button is right here, but we'll probably go all the way down just because we can. Uh, so I'm going to go, let's go ahead and uh, we'll add a couple things. Let's get our special blocking. There's our dime right there that's been cut. And we're going to have this that goes up. And we know that this is going to sit just below the light. Get all the Kydex shavings off of it because that will cause like a tent inside your Kydex. There. Okay, move on to this side. This side is going to be completely blocked up. And then I like to go ahead and connect the two together. It's going to be using three pieces of tape. there and then to help it stay in line with each other I like to line it up like so and then do that all right so we know that let's see here it's right here so we're just going to take this and that ends there so we'll line that up all the way right there And put a third one on. And we'll move on to this side. So this side feels like it's going to about there, but this is going to have um, a foamy on it. So I'm going to kick that all the way down, and I'll explain why in a minute. So we're going to have this right here, and when the foamy is on it, it's going to need something to perch on. So there we are, right there. So we'll knock that right there. We've got to get some blocking under it, so it's not, there we go. Move one a little bit thicker. that in place right there still have to do the um, retention plate because I don't think I've done this combo before I 
All right, and I might add, let's see here. I might add a little something right here, like a thinner piece of blocking if I have. There we go. That's perfect right there. And that is for this to rest on. All right. Next is just retention plate. We'll get in the press and cut our piece of uh, this guy right here and be all set. And it is all prepped. We're going to go ahead and take the uh, Battleship Gray, make sure it's not carbon fiber. It is not. And I'll go ahead and cut that. It's going to be scrap pile. And uh, we'll go ahead, heat this up, and get it in the press. So I brought one of my dogs into the garage, and um, mainly because she followed me. And uh, so she has severe hip dysplasia. So she gets tired very easily, so she likes to lay down. Well, I couldn't really find her in the garage, and I heard a snore, and I looked over and found this. Hi, you. Oh, she's out. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> we rescued her from a couple in Vermont. They were going to give her up to a shelter, and uh, she's a Rottweiler, so bully breed in a shelter with hip dysplasia. She wasn't going to last long, so we grabbed her. And uh, she is living life. She is loving it. So that is good. And she's a, she's a hot ticket. But anyways, we have 30 seconds left in the press. As you can see, my foam is still over here. And it is uh, being warmed up. I'm going to throw that in the press uh, so it's ready for when that comes out. I'm just going to go ahead and press it. And then I got a couple more minutes. But, oh, the one that was in the press is a uh, FN 5.7. Or not an FN, a PSA 5.7. And uh, here it is right here in carbon fiber. I'm uh, really looking forward to this one. That one's going to get a special engraving on it for a birthday present. But, um, yeah, just going to move on. Keep moving. Keep flowing. All right, we are in the press, and uh, now it's just a waiting game. All right, guys. It's out of the press, and it actually looks uh, extremely good, although it's a little dusty right now. But here it is right now, one side right here. That is the left side against the body. And then decide that the clip's going to go on, and uh, it's looking pretty damn good. So uh, it did seal right here, so I'm going to have to cut it apart to open it. And then we're going to continue, and I'm going to move on. I'm actually clearing off a couple of my tables in here so I could take uh, the rest of my orders, spread them all out in the bins, and pull all the material. And so, uh, you know, while something's in the press, I can go ahead and prep something else, and that's how I'm getting them out faster. Uh, I have two foam presses, one broke. So I, I'm in the process of fixing one so I can do two at a time. And like I said, that zooms up uh, the amount I get that a lot faster. So uh, until then, um, you know, everything's uh, going smoothly. But we're going to take this and knock it out. So I'm going to go ahead, cut it apart, and get it so we can work it. And it looks like my helper finally moved. Say hi, honey. Hi. Look at that face. Yeah, you are cute. This baby apart. <sighs> ba -ba -ba -bam. Ah. All right, this is a HK P2000 TLR7. This all cleaned up. No idea why I cut it like that. This looks weird. All right. Let's try this baby. 
going now remember you don't want to go too far over this area because when you grab it it's going to pinch in here uh, so I like to pretty much put it to uh, where that bevel ends if not further in Let's see is this getting a claw uh, da -da -da -da. yes it is I'm going to go grab the cloth, that way we can get the spacing we need. One, two. Let's get the cloth. Right. And I'll just go ahead and put this together real quick. Alright, so with the foamy in place, we'll throw that right there All right and oh, our mark cut doesn't say it says it's not modified goes back in yeah right there's good All right. and uh, drill it cut it sand it ship it and as you can see, it's rough cut, that's why it's all kind of melted at the edges, but what I usually do at this point, is I'll slide this guy in, and I check to see, make sure I have all the clearance, which my knuckle hits right here a little bit, so I'm just going to go ahead and clear just a little bit of that out. It doesn't need much, just enough so that when you go to grab it, you're not hitting yourself and cutting your knuckle, because that's a pain in the butt, but other than that, it looks good, feels good, and I think it's going to be uh, well when it's done, so... Let's, let's continue. We have it cleaned. We have the logo on the foamy. And, well, cleaned as in the edges cleaned because I'm cleaning it right now with uh, some rim oil. Make sure to get inside. And of course, I cleaned it without deburring the inside of the holes. Through, get inside the sight channel. All right, let's go ahead and uh, do what we got to do. You know, I have my special way of doing these guys. So we're going to take our eighth inch pass through with our other eighth inch pass through. Mount this up. These are three quarter inch screws. This magnet is awesome, just saying. Oop. There we go. And gonna square it off. Add our little bushings. And then go for the threaded posts. And get our Forster flathead. And of course we have to squeeze, but once we get one started, the other one falls right behind it. And, uh, oh God. Uh, a little tight. So generally if it's tight like that, what I'll do is I'm going to remove the short guys. And I'm going to put the longer ones in, that way we don't have to go as tight. But also, another thing you can do, which um, I might do, is we'll heat up right in here, and that will uh, loosen up the grip on it. Beautiful right where it is. I'm just gonna do half turn. Oh yeah. Alright. No heating up needed. And we'll take our quarter inch and quarter inch. 
throw these up here. And our lasered foamy, which I do, uh, I still offer that. If anybody needs their artwork on a foamy, 50 cents per foamy is all I charge. No mid, no max. And either I buy them, the foamies, or you buy and send them to me straight from Holster Smith or Knife Kits. Either one is fine with me. I'll say about 95% of people who order send them to me straight from Knife Kits. All right. And there is an inside the waistband right hand for the H&K P2000 with TLR7 Lite. Hell yeah. All right. And there we go. There's uh, about, well, actually, it's uh, half of today's pile and still got a whole bunch to do. Thank you guys for watching today's episode on making the holster for the HK P2000 with TLR7 sub. That is going all the way out to, oh, I don't even remember where it's going. I think it was California. Um, let me check real quick. So that is going 3,000 miles away from my place. So, uh, yeah, that's going out. And um, next on the chopping block, I'm going to go ahead and figure it out and move on so thank you guys again for watching huge shout out to you guys because today right when i started filming this part uh we have reached 9,800 subs which is awesome so 200 more and i'm doing another giveaway so um keep watching subscribe and huge shout out to holster smith and knife kits without them you wouldn't see as nearly as much as you do on this channel and uh again good shout out to them and uh i will see you guys on the next one And the rain finally quit, but I want to show you what I've been working on at night. Because uh, that's when it's, well, it's actually been cold all day, but uh, check this out. Bam! So, put my garden together. I got some stuff already put in. That whole row is potatoes. And we got a lot, a lot going. All this is uh, clear right now, because uh, we ran out of stuff. So many cold nights and a lot of frost. We just, a lot of stuff died. So, going to continue that. See ya.